are the nature name dads. We're going to be teaching you about cinnabar moths and what to get for their habitat if you catch them. Okay, so now we're going to be showing you a close-up of the moth so you can see it better. And if you want to know why it has such bright colors, it's because it's actually a warning because it's poisonous. And this is because when it is a caterpillar, it eats this um, plant, this weed, that actually is poisonous to horses. And th when they drink the poison out of it, the caterpillars are poisonous, and then the poison is, the poison it is still in the caterpillar, so when the caterpillar turns into the moth, the moth has the poisons in it too. Okay, so now we're going to be teaching you about the habitat. We're going to put humming bird food in. you got to be really careful because don't let it out. And you can actually make your own habitat, but we used a butterfly net, and you can buy this if you want to. So you can, but only keep your moth for a few days. Now you put the hummingbird food in. mixed with sugar and water. So now we're going to be teaching you about the life cycle of a moth or a butterfly. So first, the, the moth or butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Then, the egg on the leaf turns into a caterpillar and then the caterpillar makes a cocoon and then or people also call it a pupa so then when the moth or butterfly comes out of the chrysalis it actually can't flap its wings because it's so new that it doesn't know what to do yet and it has to stay still and their wings are kind of stuck together and it has to wait a day or so we're going to be showing you the wally bear from the last video. If you haven't watched it, then you can watch it. And we're going to show you what, because it's making its cocoon right now. And right now it actually made its own silk. And it's getting smaller because it's about to have its cocoon shell. And then we're going to teach you about drilling holes into it. Yeah, the we're going to drill the holes into the lid because we haven't done it yet. If you've already done this from the last video, then you don't have to watch this part. Have an adult help you um, when you're drilling holes and ask before you do it too because you don't want, it could be dangerous if you did it by yourself and you didn't ask for permission. And if you don't have a lid for your thing and you don't have a drill either, if you have a net or something, that has holes that aren't too big, then you can actually just put it over the the lid so that so then it can still breathe and you can also see the moss. Now we're gonna drill some holes. What do caterpillars use to make a cocoon? Silk. Would I be able to find a cinnabar moth at the mall? No, that's cinnabar. Oh. <laughs> a fun fact is that most moths fly during the night, and this is actually one of the moths that flies during the day. Oh. Ah!
keep your moth because these moths are pretty cool. Right over at the top. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a cake too. <sighs> <laughs> Here, where is my hand? Nature Ninja! Hurry up! Hurry up! I got you! <laughs> 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 <laughs>